What's going on everybody, Noah back here with another YouTube video, here today bring you guys some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. I'm coming at you guys with the third episode of the Versus series here, where I go ahead and compare two weapons in the game that are extremely similar. What we're going to be doing today is going to be comparing the M4 Assault Rifle and the ICR-1. Both of these weapons are absolute lasers, so this is going to be a lot of fun to record. Now, for those of you who are unaware of how we actually do these versus episodes on the series, basically what I'll be doing is hopping into game number one using the first rifle and game number two using the second. While I'm doing this, I'll be comparing the differences between the two weapons on how they perform based off of my own thoughts and opinions, and then at the end of the video, declare which one I feel is the superior weapon. This isn't based off of the statistics of the weapons, just how I personally feel they perform in game. With that being said, I always like to start these episodes off by digging into the stats just a little bit. So we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the ICR and the M4. Now, it looks like the ICR is going to have a slight decrease in fire rate, but when it comes to accuracy and range, it's going to have a small little advantage. So this is going to be super interesting to see how these two weapons play out. Based off of numbers, the ICR should be the better weapon, but we're going to be the judge of that today. So let's go ahead and jump into a match and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, here we go. Jumping into game number one on Crash. We got the M4 in hand. Let's see what we can go ahead and accomplish. But first, I'm going to go ahead and drop a grenade right over there. Oh, I actually direct impacted a player. Probably this guy pushing super far forward. But I wasn't able to take him out. Luckily, though, I managed to pick up two right after that. And I heard another player right over here taking him out as well. M4 doing some damage up close at the moment. But definitely right over here is the positioning for the M4 to shine. It's more of a range weapon. Oh crap, ah oh, man, okay. Barely got around that corner. We're looking good right now. I've got this radar to work with. Hmm, just need to take out this one guy who's looking for me and we should be good. This guy's trying to like flank me? He was, okay. Luckily this UAV is being extremely helpful for us trying to like work ourselves out of this situation. Got the shield as well now to work with. One more player. Oh, I got him so weak. Just kind of hanging out here, seeing how things play out from like the map positioning and all that. I think I'm gonna have to back up just a little bit because yeah, everybody on the other squad is like just fighting over here in the middle of the map for B. I'm gonna drop a shield, paying attention to my radar. I see we got one player like trying to flank. Is he gonna go all the way? No, I can't tell really. Right here on the shield, dead. On the B flag, dead. Got back up here. We're gonna call in this UAV, regen our health. There's a guy with an M16 right next to me. That might have been him. Possibly this dude over here. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's the guy. Just destroyed my squad. Calling this counter UAV. I know there's another player on B. Ooh, taking him out there with our last couple of shots. That was good. Go ahead and grab his scav pack. Yeah, now all the enemies are about to come over here. Luckily, we've got this shield to work with. Oh, there should be one more. That was him. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going to back up a little bit. I've got another UAV. We'll go ahead and call that in. I'm shocked to see that no enemies are flanking me yet. I'm going to drop a shield right over here. Oh, yeah, now here comes the flank. Pre-fire. Oh, okay. I got to push forward a little bit. This guy definitely saw me. Oh, through the wall. That was good. Another player up top. Dead as well. Got some good positioning. Oh, I would have gotten that range kill, but my teammate took him out with the Sparrow. Oh, here we go. This is time to show off the M4's power at range. There we go, dropping a nuke in this first round. We've got so many more points to go as well. We've been playing so well with this weapon. Like, it's crazy. As of late, I've been popping off with the M4. Whether it be at range, up close, like everything we've been doing has just been so good. And I'm so happy to see it, dude. The M4 is like, it's just been such a fun weapon lately. It was a really good first half. Let's see if we can continue the success story in this second. Our team should be able to cap this C flag. I'm gonna walk over here towards B and see what I can do. Enemies are taking the flag. That's not good. I'm gonna see if I can flank. Uh, we still got one more on it. Come on, wall bang, something. Ah, I just had to spray all of my ammo. I was just seeing if I could do something. Ooh, wow, I barely managed to take him off that flag. This enemy sentry gun up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just drop the nuke. 
That way it'll take care of the sentry gun. It'll reset pretty much the positioning for the enemies, get them all into their spawn. Those shots right there got this dude off of the flag, and that's perfect. We'll go ahead and completely clear him. And now I'm going to attempt to actually push this B myself. Oh, I've got a shield. We'll go ahead and drop right over here. Counter UAV going up. If anyone pushes me, it should be from yellow. And then we'll have a couple more over here. But, oh, that's not going to really matter because I was still able to cap the flag myself. Unfortunately, we were taken out there in the back. Wow, never mind. I didn't even realize that the enemies took our home flag. I am mind blown that we lost that. After I capped the B flag, our teammates somehow lost our home flag with the nuke going off. Well, that was still a fun game regardless. This time around, we're gonna go ahead and switch it up with the ICR, and I'll see you guys in just a second. This time around, we're on standoff, and of course, the ICR is in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pre-nade right over here down the mid lane. And then we're just gonna push forward as aggressively as possible. I saw one player, took him out with a nade, then his buddy was pushing forward as well. Ooh, starting off with a nice three-piece. See if we can get him all again off spawn. Come on, I saw that guy coming close to me. I'm gonna go ahead and back up here, call him this UAV, and then we'll hit the reload when we get a chance. Teammates are actually cleaning him up a little bit. This is good. I see the enemies are flanking us. Oh, drop the shield, slide out of this, get the reload down. What's this guy up close? Nice teammate, good stuff. On the flag, dead. Oh, we got two. I gotta back up, I gotta back up. Oh my goodness, this guy, I believe has ghost, is chasing me. Let's see if I can take him out with the predator missile. They're all together. Take that double kill, that's good. Definitely gotta hit this reload though. So the immediate difference that I'm like really feeling between the M4 and this ICR, oh my goodness, is that the fire rate is significantly slower. Like the M4 goes so much faster. With that being said, I feel like the ICR does have a slightly increased damage per bullet, but it also doesn't feel like it's as accurate as the M4. Ooh, the situation links like that though. Oh, it definitely feels like it's a superior weapon. I don't know, we'll have to see how the M4 feels again after using the ICR for a little bit. But I do feel like this weapon has a little more recoil with a little more damage, and of course that slower fire rate. This player, I just tracked around the entire freaking map before I was able to finally take him out. The round is coming to a close here. I'm just going to be saving my streaks, and I'm hoping that we can maybe get one more kill before this all ends. There they are. No, unfortunately, we weren't able to clean it up before the half. Well, that was a good first round. Let's see what we can do in the second. Yeah, we're currently 16-0. I know I got a couple of kills with my Predator missile. So I'd say we're about five away from the nuke, give or take one. Player right over here in a little alleyway, taking him out. Oh, no. Okay, hopefully that guy's not sniping. Oh, he might be. Dude, he, like, hit markered me or something. Go ahead and use this Predator Missile to take out that player who's immediately next to me. Let's see if I can find this guy. I saw him. Yeah, he is sniping. He's dead now. We got a UAV. We'll go ahead and call in. Looks like there's another player over here on C. I'm just pre-firing him, spraying him up. He's gone. And all of the enemies are spawning over here at the gas station. Can I get involved in this spawn trap at all? Oh, I got some shots down, but that's pretty much as far as that went. Player in the alleyway? No, he's going in the building. Yeah, he's right here. What? This guy ran right by my teammate. Oh my goodness. Oh, the enemies are all next to me. Come on. We gotta get ourselves out of this situation. No, no, no. Oh my god. I can't believe I lived. They should not have let me done that. Wow. Okay. Calling this Predator Missile to see like an overview. They're all spawning over on the other side of the map now. So I am completely safe to go ahead and call in the nuke. That was a lot of fun. I will say the ICR is definitely a lot more fun of a weapon to use. And probably because it has like the nostalgic, you know, Black Ops 3 vibes that I pretty much always love about these new DLC weapons. But I don't know, I think the M4 might have the advantage. We'll have to see in this next match because I do feel like this weapon has a little more damage. And maybe I'm like completely underestimating the ICR. I'm not sure. 
Oh, you're so weak, man. A lot of players in front of me now. I'm just going to back up, keep my flawless gameplay going. GG's, we actually won this match. I know that last one was uh, something different, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. This time around, we find ourselves on Crossfire, which is a very good map for this weapon. The second time around, I'm going to be throwing a red dot on both the M4 as well as the ICR. So let's see what we can go ahead and do. Immediately, you can tell the difference in the fire rate. And I do feel... Whoa. And I do feel like this weapon definitely has less recoil, which is strange. Like, it has a higher fire rate. Whoop. I'm so dead here. There's no way I get out of this. Oh, there's so many players next to me. Oh, okay. Got the UAV up. I should be getting pushed in a second by, like, a player with a chicken or something. Uh, I gotta back up and reload. Come on, come on, come on. What are they doing? Dying. One more. Through the wall. I got one more pushing now. We're gonna put the shield up. Good, good. And hopefully no one else spawns behind me and screws me over. I know we've got this player. Oh, he didn't see me. That's very, very fortunate for me. Holy crap. I think spawns finally flipped. Wow. I, I don't even remember what I was saying. Something about like the M4, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was saying like it's got a higher fire rate and less recoil. So that's super interesting. At the moment, I honestly, I don't know. I feel like the ICR just can't compete. The M4 feels significantly better. Like look at those shots right there at range. The ICR just doesn't... Oh my god, it just doesn't compete with this. Wow. Wow! Oh my goodness, I did not realize that the M4 was this good at range. I knew it didn't have much recoil, but oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that is just all I can say. The immediate difference between the ICR and the M4 is crazy. That was a good first round. Can't believe we were able to work ourselves out of the situation that we were able to. And then on top of that, slay out everybody in such quick shots at range. We're going to the second half on a pretty decent streak. We've got full score streak, so we're going to be able to call on our UAV encounter and know immediately where our enemies are going to be going off the start of the game. Let's see if we can close out this nuke streak. Ooh, I see this guy sniping. I want to dome his head. You know what? Screw it. I can just flank him full on. Another player over there. Down the lane. Hmm. Let's get up top in the building just to get to some safety. I hear some footsteps below me. Player with the Type 25 right over here. We'll be seeing ya, and that's going to do it for the nuke. That was such a good round. Let's just keep pushing a little bit. I'm hearing some more footsteps. Wonder where from exactly. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this thing just does not feel like it's got any kick. Let's go ahead and call on this nuke. Should be a safe little corner. Ooh, come on. According to that Predator missile. A couple of enemies are going to be right here below me. This guy's got a sparrow. I'm going to just back up a little bit. Let the nuke take care of them. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can get any of them off spawn, though. Look around. I'm hearing some footsteps for sure. Dropping down. Here we go. Got a UAV. Call that in. Spawns flipped. Enemies are across the map. Oh, they're finally back over here. Come on, you're so weak. Oh! Cleaning that kill up. Hunter killer's gonna get me. For sure. Wow. Did that shield like block me off or something? Why did I live? Oh. Yes, there we go. Lasering that guy for final kill. That was such a good game. <laughs> Sick kill cam, dude. Look at this, look at this. He just locked onto him and didn't miss. We're jumping into uh, some holiday raid. This is the ICR's last chance to prove itself to me. Let's see what we can do with here. Immediately checking the B lane, taking out one player who's just pushing forward towards the flag. I'm hearing some footsteps next to me. Oh, I'll just keep an eye out for that. I think my teammates trip mine actually took out the guy I was hearing. I just saw like a red shoulder blade. Woo, that was a far shot. 
That was a really, really good range shot. I'm hearing some players walking around in the snow. I'm right behind them. Ooh, taking that assist. We're just a couple points away from this UAV. Ooh, and that double kill will do it for us. That was nasty. Not gonna lie. I think one of the reasons that I feel very comfortable with the ICR is because of the fact that it does have that slower fire rate. But, I don't know. In reality, it just... I think the... M4 might be an overall better weapon because it's got a higher fire rate with the same amount of damage and less recoil. So in reality, like, it kills players quicker and is easier to control. The ICR just is, like, got that fun factor to me because I love the sound of it. I love the nostalgic vibes it gives off. And I love, like, you know, the slower fire rate. It makes the gun just feel a little more powerful, but I don't know. It's definitely not a bad weapon in any way, shape, or form, as you can see right there. It lasers as well. I'm just spraying through the tree a little bit here. Oh, we did some good damage. But it's definitely a close call between the two weapons. We'll see. We are destroying right now. This is a lot of fun. Go ahead and call in this Predator Missile. Got a couple players over here at A. We'll take out the one going towards the kitchen. I should have a player running right here on the court in a second. He's a goner as well. I got another Predator Missile. We'll go ahead and call in. Take out the players going for B. We'll be seeing ya. What's the deal with this guy? Oh, he just spawned up. Yeah, like shots like that, though, I feel like with the M4 are a lot easier to hit. On B, dead. 10 points away from this UAV. There we go. We got it. I saw another player. Spraying at me. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. Oh my goodness. I am being chased by what, like three players? Just wanna take the opportunity to reload here. Take these fights one at a time. Come on, come on. There we go. One more on the A flag. And he is a goner for the nuke. We closed that out really well. I The few games where I have used the ICR though, I will say I've been going flawless and I've been doing a little bit better. Maybe that like slower fire rate actually is good for myself personally. I don't know. This is such a close debate. I really don't know. We're currently crushing it at 24 and 0. <laughs> go ahead and call in this counter UAV. Hopefully there's no sparrows challenging mid here. I'm going to go ahead and just drop the shield. And then pre-aim down this mid lane. I know after that crossfire match, we saw the power of the M4 lasering. Let's see how the ICR performs at range as well. I think the ICR might have a quicker time to kill at range because of the fact that it has more accuracy and range statistically. But as far as like in-game recoil, it definitely has more of that. It's not doing too bad. <laughs> this shield is so cheesy, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and call on this bird and miss a little. That'll uh, bring us to our nuclear. I don't think I can get that inside, no. But while I'm safe here in this corner, I'll use the opportunity to go ahead and call in my nuke. Corner of the radar, I'm going to have one player in front of me here in just a second. And it looks like... Oh, getting sprayed at. A couple of players pushing me. Got this UAV up. I think I'm just hang out here for a second, let the nuke do its thing. And then we'll uh, push up, get some good positioning. Play these radars based off of their respawn. They're actually gonna be over here at B. Ooh, my battery's close. So I'll get some higher ground. I'm just staring at the pillars. I don't know what they're doing. Calling this counter UAV. Go ahead and help my teammate take this C flag now. Good. We got another predator missile. Just want to eyeball over here. Good shots. Another player going down that mid lane. Oh, with a sparrow as well. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> it's always such a good time whenever you kill a player using a sparrow. You feel so good about yourself. You're close, my guy. He's just going to spray that S36 at me until he has no more ammo. I'm going to hop out, hit him with the flank while he's... Trying to do the same to me. That battery's going for C. Dead. Yeah, man. I mean, we've been playing extremely consistent with the ICR. I feel like whenever I use the M4, I do get outgunned a little bit more often. I wonder why that is. Ah. Woo! I'm telling you, 
it's gotta be like the slower fire rate. It just, it works with me. I'm used to that. Oh, this is gonna be such a tough call. I really don't know which one to pick. All right, it is time for my final say. Which weapon do I think is better, the M4 or the ICR? And I think it's worth noting before I come up with this conclusion that I actually have a bias towards the ICR because of my history with it from Black Ops 3. Like, I love this weapon. I love the sound of it in this game as well. And overall, I just think it is such a fun weapon to use. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and crown today's champion to the m4 this was such a tough decision to make but what it really came down to is the fact that the two weapons have the same amount of damage and the m4 not only has a faster fire rate but less recoil on it so again the m4 in my opinion is the better weapon the icr it breaks my heart to say that because I love that gun. Thank you all so much for tuning in here to today's versus episode. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with what I had to say. With that being said, everyone, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.